Hello everyone, my name is Arsh Gutiella. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer and welcome to my series on the different types of billing rules you can have in the project management module. What I'm going to go through is go through all five of the various billing rules that you can create and show how they can be applied in any sort of project management type business. First, I'm going to look at the milestone billing. To start, let's go to the project that I've set up. That, I'm going to go to the project management module and go to all projects. And I'm specifically going to go to the project that I had set up for this demo. So milestone billing is used to centralize your billing for a series of projects that utilize the same contract. In my case, what I've done is I've set up a project called the Building a University and set up various sub projects for the different buildings that I'm going to create. Now you can do this using one project and sub-projects, or you can do this across multiple header projects. The key is that this type of billing rule only applies to projects that are of type fixed price. Notice that on all three of my projects, I'm using the same contract, contract number 104. So let's look at that. A contract is what stores all the information that is used for invoicing or billing your customers on any client-facing project. What we're going to do is specifically focus on the billing rules, and in that we're going to use milestone billing. Milestone billing is the least complicated of the billing rules. What it allows you to do is operate your billing from one centralized location. So let's say, for example, there's one person in charge of billing for this entire header project for all across the university. What we can do is we can set up milestones inside the contract itself. So I'm going to call this milestone one math. All right, and this one goes for my math building, and that one will say is for $10,000. Then we have milestone 2 math, and this one's same. And this one's going to be $50,000. Okay? And now what you can also do, rather than setting up individual milestones on each project, we can set all of them up in this one location. So now I'm going to set it up for the science building as well. And this will be a little pricier. But what you can do is that you can have these all in one location. All right, so I'm just going to quickly complete the setup. And for our athletic complex, let's just say we only had one milestone. And that will be for a whopping $100,000. And so these are your various invoices that you're going to send out for all of these projects. Now, if you were to go to any of these individual projects, so I'm going to close the contract, go back into my project, and I look at my on-account transactions, you can see that the transactions we created on the contract level are now present in the project. We can see this for any one of the three projects that I did work on. You can see here we had Milestone 1 and Milestone 2. What this allows is, so now you have your various people working on these projects, charging their time, the project managers are watching the project. But what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to the contract. And so as progress is completed on these projects, the central biller can come into this contract and go to this Manage Contract Status. This is a key form that we're going to see in a number of different places. What you can do, you select this and you can hit the update milestone. And then you can click in here and say, all right, which phases I'm complete. Well, I've completed the first phase in math. I'm creating the first and the second one in the science building. So I can press OK. And now that I have updated those milestones, I can then go into my contract and create an invoice proposal. And within the invoice proposal, you see we have the three transactions that we released. And these are the ones that are available to bill. So it doesn't matter which of the sub-projects that this contract is being billed for. You can all do it from a central location. Go ahead and press OK. And this will create our invoice for these three different transactions, which we see down here. And at the top, we see it consolidated by the project. So we can see we're doing all 80,000 of the science building, but only 10,000 of the math building, and nothing in the athletic complex. And then we can go ahead 
and we can post this. And I'm not going to print it at the moment. I'm just going to post this invoice. All right, and we can see the status has been invoiced. And now, if you go back to the project, all right, we're going to go to our first one, our math building, and press this on account transactions. You can see that the first has been fully invoiced, while the second is still available to be invoiced in the future. So that is the purpose of the milestone billing rules. It allows you to consolidate all your billing for a series of fixed price or fixed fee projects into one central location. For any questions, please contact our sales team and we can help there. Thank you.